Hello Lunar Child and welcome now to Tuesday. Actually two part Tuesday and you'll probably be the most affected in this transit. That's because the moon, your ruling planet and the focusing agent of emotions on earth is now moving into Taurus on the second half of the day. In the first half of the day it's still in Aries so the focus will be you at work, you and your profession, you and your legacy. Then around 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time the moon will move into Taurus which for you is your social life. So you'll be in a social mood as of this afternoon. But this is not any old moon. This is a glorious full moon. And cancers are either affected, most cancers I know are heavily affected by a full moon. They either get really stir crazy or they get really solemn and chill. Those are the two extremes I've seen. But emotionally it means you're going to really, really want something in society. Maybe a place in society, maybe to be respected by society, maybe a certain circle of friends or a new group of friends. Your heart really wants something in society, maybe to be recognized for something. But a full moon is in fact an opposition. The sun's on one side of the earth, the moon's on the other, the earth's stuck in the center, and there's an opposition, a tug of war in our own lives, and that's how it plays out metaphorically and spiritually on earth. So the moon really is the setup. It's the motivator. It's the instigator. You're going to really want emotionally something in your life with your social life, but at the other end, the sun in Scorpio, the universe is answering to get that in society, you must focus and focus hard on your personal dreams and what your inner child is telling you, not the adult that wants to say it's not possible. It's your inner child. It's the rainbows. It's the creativity. It's the romance. So if you're not happy with where you are in society, astrology says fix your problems with your inner child and getting on the path of your personal dreams. Now, zipping around the zodiac, one other thing that's really interesting, Venus and Pluto are now dead conjunct at the very passionate 29th degree, which means for the next few days, you are at your most powerful, most powerful in your entire life to create and destroy in one fell swoop. Venus is creation, Pluto's destruction. And this for you is this final transit of creating the life you've always wanted. So you can simultaneously manifest the life you've always wanted as you're getting on the path of your personal dreams. Pretty groovy for the cancers. All right, that's all I have for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So